What's up guys, welcome back to a top 5 video. Now this is my second top 5 video I've ever done on my this channel. And this video is going to be a great one. So this is going to be the top 5 Pokemon that will never get Alola forms. Now this is all in my opinion. And I am saying, it's I'm not doing a single Pokemon, I'm doing a group of them. So this might make the list a little different for you guys. But... Hopefully you guys um like what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys agree with me. And if you don't, then tell me down below in the comments and I will change my list in the next in the next video. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Alright, number five on the list is Evolutions. Now this is all in my opinion. This whole entire list is in my opinion. But I personally don't think that any of the evolutions are going to be getting Alola forms. Because number one, that's going to add so much more cards to the TCG. Some people might think of that as a good thing or a bad thing. And I think it was a good thing, but I just don't think that evolutions are going to be Alola forms. And they're just too... They're so different that if they get Alola forms, that's going to take another couple months to think of how how much different they're going to be too so i just really don't think they're going to get alola forms ever number four are legendary pokemon i can't see any of them ever getting alola form just because there's so many of them and there's so much different variations of them like meloetta shaman kiram there's so much different versions of them that to make more versions of them wouldn't make any more wouldn't make any much sense at all number three are starters now a lot of people are thinking that the gen 2 starters are getting alola forms but i personally don't think that any starters will get alola forms um i just i can't see any different variations of starters besides the mega forms and i don't think any other starter right now is going to get mega forms other than Gen 1 and Gen 3. But I don't think Game Freak is just going to leave Gen 1 and Gen 3 just with Megas alone because they will feel too special. Number 2 is Mega Evolved Pokemon. So I don't see Mega Evolved Pokemon ever getting Alola forms just because there should be different categories of Pokemon. So one could be like a me one is Mega Evolved Pokemon just regular Pokemon that only evolve, don't get any Mega Evolutions, don't get an Alolan form, and then Alolan forms. So in Gen 1, what, what Game Freak did is they left out all the Pokemon that had Mega Evolutions and gave almost everyone else, actually not, they gave a fraction of them Alola forms, which is 10 of them, so that's, that's a very small fraction of them. And most of them have Mega forms too, so, the Game Freak is trying to, like, give different categories of Pokemon, like, regular evolving Pokemon that just evolve, um, uh, Mega Evolved Pokemon, and Alolan Pokemon, and who knows, there might be more in the future. Number one is Pikachu. I don't think Game Freak is gonna give the mascot of Pokemon an Alolan form. They did give Raichu one. So I think what Game Freak was trying to show is, or trying to do, is just give Raichu an Alolan form. Because they could have gave Raichu and Pichu an Alolan form, but then you just evolve Pichu, and you'll most likely find out that, that there is an Alolan Pikachu. So I think Game Freak purposely gave Alo Raichu an Alolan form and not Pikachu, because they didn't want to change the mascot of the game. Because it would, just, it would be way too different and... There's no need for Pikachu to get an Alolan form because it's just so OP. So that is the end of this top 5 video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. If you didn't, still smash that like button. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Comment down below any more top 10 or top 5 ideas and you will get a shout out. So until next video, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.